Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lil Crips and today we're going to be reacting to Star vs. The Forces of Evil, Schooled, and Booth Buddies. So before I get into the reaction, I kind of want to talk about something really quickly. Either on Friday or Saturday, I do not remember which day, Darren posted a tweet saying, All the recent spoilers are making me sad. We work really hard to make a fun and surprising show. If you somehow find something early and post it, remember you are ruining it for other people. Yeah. So on Thursday or Friday, I cannot remember which day it was, someone leaked the episode. It was either Schooled or Booth Buddies. But yeah, someone leaked an episode. And it was all over social media. And I was able to avoid the majority of it. I was able to avoid spoilers, thank goodness. The only reason I was able to even avoid it was because some of my reactor friends were like, watch out because someone leaked the episodes of Star and yeah. It's, it just makes me really sad, guys. I, every time a show, episode of a show gets leaked onto the internet, it's gonna happen. Like, I get that. But every time something like that happens, you're holding the show. Steven Universe, for example. People leak episodes and spoilers all the time to the show. They leak many scenes before it's even released on TV or the app. And it's really sad. Yeah, I mean, I get that, you know, these episodes play differently in other countries. Like, for example, if the United States gets the episode on, like, Saturday, in another country, the episodes get released earlier. Like, I get that point. But just plainly leaking the episodes, that's just... I don't know, it just... It makes me so sad. I don't want this show to turn into a Steven Universe problem with one hiatus and a lot of leaks and spoilers. I mean, I know my thoughts may not really matter to many people, but whoever's watching this, and if you have any time ever posted a leak or spoiler to a show, think about it for a sec. Am I hurting the show by doing this? Like, why would you want to hurt a show that you love so much and you love watching? Because if you leak something, then that show has more of a chance of getting off the air and not continuing. So, if you have ever posted or thought about posting spoilers or leaks before the episode is released professionally or officially, please think about this. Am I holding the show by doing this? So enough with being super serious about leaks and spoilers. Let's talk about the episodes Schooled and Booth Buddies. I was for the most part able to avoid spoilers. I only know that one of these episodes is going to be a Marco and Star episode. So, yikes, that's going to be interesting. But the episode Schooled. I have a feeling. Are we going to finally return to St. Olga's school? Where Ponyhead and all the other girls are currently like partying. I don't even know if they're still partying. If they're actually learning something right now, I'm not really sure. But I also have a question. Why have we not seen Heinous? St. Olga's school, I don't know. Has Heinous returned to St. Olga's school since the whole I'm Meteor incident? Has she tried to take over the school? I highly doubt that considering that all the princesses kind of rose up and formed a revolution. So I'm not really sure if Heinous will return back anytime soon to the school. And I am positive that we are going to be seeing Heinous at some point, either in the finale or before the finale. So I don't know. I just want to know what happened to her. Now, when I think of the title Booth Buddies, I think of the photo booth that Ponyhead got from the um, Bounce Lounge. So maybe that might tie into the episode somehow. Something tells me this is going to be the Marco and Star episode, but I'm not sure. It may be scored. I'm not really sure, but you know, we haven't gotten like a real Star and Marco episode in a while when they like go on adventures or any of that. And I miss that. So yeah, maybe they may be going on an adventure that includes the photo booth. So I believe that's all I have to say as far as my predictions go. So without further ado, let's get on with the reaction. Huh? Ponyhead? Oh man! Oh, she's back! Oh, 
when she's evil. No, no, don't. Don't say we're gonna die. Uh, yeah, that's not a good sign. Shoot. Oh no, he's back. Oh no, he's regenerated completely. Oh my. Ponyhead? Really? A time like this? Oh. Wait, what? No, not true, but I don't think she's after you. Not today. <gasps> oh my gosh! Pony- oh, yeah, yeah, true. But pony head versus heinous? Oh, or maybe not. Huh? A robot? Wait, 
Wait, what? Wait, what? What's happening? I am so confused right now. What? They're getting married? This one is not a thing. Okay. Congratulations, you two. I thought they hated each other. Oh. Are they together? Kelly and Marco? Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, Star, you don't just do that, but okay. That's a lot of money. Exactly. He is not happy about that. Wait, what? What? Uh, Marco, why aren't you having fun? Oh, fun zone. Oh. 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 That's awesome. What? I'm... Yeah, which is that the issue? What? He was. He wasn't being sincere. I have a question. Has Star noticed him having a crush on her for a while? Is that maybe the crush thing that's making him uncomfortable with this? Oh, Star, you need to. What? What? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Kelly! Ah oh, no! Dragon cycle, nachos, jeez! What is happening? Oh! Alex Hirsch! He's voicing this character! Yay! Alex! Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's like a motorcycle. <gasps> oh, what is that? Okay, okay. Let's, let's move on. Oh my. Whoa, that's a lot of photos. Maybe. Oh, yay. Really? Interesting. Uh, Moko! Yeah. <laughs> oh no, a death trap. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Suck the trucks? What? Marco, I thought you liked magical adventures. Oh wow. All that money? Jeez. Oh no, we'll bring that up again. They're actually gonna talk about this. Interesting. They're actually talking about this. She's questioning everything. Sorry, it's just the 
That's <laughs> magic. Yes! He did! Yes, he did! Oh, yeah! Thank you, Alex! Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. It might. Oh. Yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah, you kind of did. Okay. I'll see you later, Star. Oh. oh, my. Oh, Tom, you don't know what just happened. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Huh? Did Star take those photos? I don't know how to react to that. Two crazy episodes in one day, I cannot handle that. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you guys all know what just happened here, right? I wasn't imagining things. At least I think I wasn't. Wow, okay, um, before I get into that crazy mess of feelings, let's talk about school. So, the school has stayed the same, St. Ogre's school, except now they have to take brunch exams. Pony didn't want to do that, so they're basically saying, okay, well, if you don't want to do what we do here, then you have to go somewhere else because we're not changed anything here. And she wasn't very happy about that. Then, lo and behold, we see Hainus far up the sky or whatever, and she looks like more monster-like, like her father. Still want to see him. And tries to not really take over the school, but find a robot named Saint Ogle. Or uh, Ogre. Yeah. And this robot was her mother. She was the one that raised Hainus from what King Chester Can could not do, and he gave her up, and... Wow. Still want to learn more about Festivia, though. I feel like there's more to her story than what meets the eye. And... Yeah, that was crazy and insane. And then Pony challenges Hainus, Saying, yeah, we're not gonna let you get by, girl. And Hades rips off Ponyhead's horn. And if that wasn't enough, Rastacor broke up with Hades. I guess broke up, if that's the right term. Hades was not taken that very well. And... And her robot minion got his heart whipped out, and she chucked it at Rastacor, and he exploded! And now she's going to keep him again and regenerate him. Because, I mean, he's just a arm now. But, wow. Hainus is now with Rastacor and herself, and the robot is no longer there, Gemini. And I'm very upset because I actually liked Gemini. <clears throat> And if all of that episode was not enough for you, we get both buddies when Star and Marco finally confess their feelings for each other. And they were happy to be honest with each other. And Alex made an appearance. And yet it, it took Alex Hirsch to bring Star and Marco together. It took freaking Alex Hirsch. I love that man. <laughs> they kissed. Star and Marco freaking kissed. <laughs> Whoa, and Star has a boyfriend. She doesn't know how to react to that. We got to see Kelly again. And Tom, but... And, not to mention, Ruberia and the 
Jester or whatever. They got married. Didn't expect that. We saw the mime again. So the resistance was there and back together again. But <laughs> it took Star and Marco confess no feelings for each other. A photo booth and Alex Hirsch. Great man. <laughs> Just a great man. But yes. Oh man. But wow. Overall, pretty great episodes. So, I thank you all so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of these episodes. <laughs> I can't believe it happened. I can't believe these two episodes actually happened. And I can't believe Marco freaking kissed Star. And she has a boyfriend. And she doesn't know how to react to that. And I don't know if she liked it or if she didn't like it. I don't know. And Alex Hirsch made a cameo appearance and I loved it. I loved it so much. And Rastacore came back and is regenerating again. I was going to say he's dead again, but he's really not. But Gemini is dead. I'm really upset about that because I actually liked him. Wow. I'm interested to see how other reactors reacted to these episodes now because I'm just... <laughs> I'm speechless. I... I don't know what else to say. So much happened. Ponyhead's horn is gone and I don't know how that's going to- Oh my gosh. What's the next episode's name? Bamu the Patty and Tough Love. So we're gonna have to wait and see what those episodes bring to the table, but now I'm just... <laughs> oh gosh. Star versus the forces of evil. That's all I have to say to that. Any theories for what's to come in the future? Leave a comment down below and let me know. So, I thank you all so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys!